All right. Well, you know, we have all, uh, most of us at least, been <laughs> through the iconic Eisenhower Johnson Tunnel mm -hmm. at some point. Of course, you may not know or appreciate the backstory of how this feature of most of us. Uh, for, for most of us in Colorado came to be. Yeah, I don't see how you hold your breath through the entire That's thing, though. That's a little bit long. Kids growing up yeah. here know, know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Uh, they, they, you try to hold your breath through the tunnel. That's a long way. <laughs> I uh, never made it. Uh, I never made it. Denver yeah. 7 transportation expert Jason Luber has been at the tunnel, is now in the, in the belly of the beast here, and joins us with this sneak peek inside. Yeah, we'll talk about how long the tunnel is coming up in a bit. I'm in the intake room. This is the intake room, so the air, the fresh air from outside comes in here, and they can be blown inside the tunnel. And really, only the workers that get to be in here, well, I'm an honorary member of CDOT, so they let me in here for today. Uh, but right behind me, this is one of the massive intake vans that will blow air into the tunnel, and then right across from here is where they have the exit vans, where you see those fins, they look like a Sydney Opera House, right? Those are on the opposite side of me right here, but it's a massive job getting air in and out of the tunnels here and it really is especially at this altitude of over 11,000 feet. It is a 24-7 operation, not only maintaining it and maintaining the roads in and out of the tunnel. Maintaining the free flow of traffic in and out of both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel and it's this what most people see on their trip through the tunnel. What you don't see, the manpower on the inside, making it happen. This is one of 28 fans that we have here. Massive circulation fans like this one, working to keep the air clean and keeping carbon monoxide levels down. With the thousands and thousands of cars and trucks passing through on a daily basis, each able to generate hurricane force winds. It's capable of about 500,000 cubic feet per minute airflow. Uh, these are in case of emergencies. If there's a fire in the tunnel, we can ramp these guys up and uh, pump a bunch of smoke out and or anything else that we need ventilation wise. I call this the submarine door. Our tour on the inside showing one of the countless tunnels, a maze of openings and walkways running the length of the tunnel, almost two miles wide east to west. This is actually the plenum above the road deck here. So we're going to be above um, of traffic. You see the top of the tunnel right here. This archway is um, the actual top of the bore. This just one of the areas workers use every day to ensure everything is safe for the daily operations, both on the outside and the inside. We are red right now. This is kind of the nerve center of the tunnel. We're in the control room. Uh, we're monitoring all traffic uh, going east and westbound. It's where CDOT crews keep an eye on you and the traffic below, monitoring for crashes, stalls, and counting cars. Somebody's in the room all the time. That's going down to the Loveland Bridge. You can see the ski area. There's Loveland Pass. There's Loveland Ski Area right there. Monitoring traffic and on the lookout for emergencies, and it's here once again on the inside where the tunnel's emergency response crews are ready to respond. If we do have an accident or we do have a fire, let's say, or a vehicle fire within the tunnel, our fire crews can get in there very, very quickly. That's the whole idea. And they can use these fans to blow all that smoke out of here very, very quickly. These are one of the fans. This is one of the intake fans right here behind me. And that's why it's so cold in here because it's just <laughs> bringing in the outside air. Uh, and uh, it's the same as it was 50 years ago. So really the technology hasn't changed in 50 years uh, that we're seeing today. All right, trivia time, guys. A lot of uh, electronics. Okay. Uh, obviously electronic uh, stuff here and uh, electricity being used. What do you think the average monthly use of electricity is? How much do you think they spend per month on oh. electricity here at the tunnel? Hmm. Oh my gosh, it's got to be thousands. Yeah, some. I don't know. Two. Ten. Yeah. Ten thousand. Five thousand a month. I don't know. Uh, uh, I try seventy. Seventy thousand. Over a hundred. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes when they're running these fans full bore, they'll be running a hundred thousand dollars plus of electricity per month. All right, yeah. Jason, That's you're incredible. educating yeah. us today That's amazing. with this trivia. Thank you.